hey, get qualified. You know, how to crack lift interview. So, how you join this Lima firm? So, in this video, I will give a complete package of how to crack PhD interview and the important parameters or the factors that play the important role during your interview. So, first of all, I would like to uh, mention one thing. So, in this year, hope the PhD interview will be in offline mode. Okay, so offline mode. You have to travel the institute because I don't know uh, which institute will take it offline or online, but I expect most of the institute will take it in offline mode. So, as far I know, uh, so as far I know, uh, uh, most of the institute will uh, show its application or notification uh, in this uh, one to two weeks. And uh, as you know, IIT Bombay, IIT Bombay, IIT Madras, uh, IIT uh, Indore, uh, they already have opened their application for the PhD. So please go through this uh, institute and apply. Uh, but the uh, thing is that uh, where should you apply? This is the biggest question that is suppose you have a rank and you don't have any idea where to apply and where not to apply. So I think I have to uh, make a clear idea here, give you a clear idea here that uh, if your rank is uh, below 500 or nearly 500, okay. So and you are from open category, okay. Then I think uh, you should apply everywhere. Ex uh, uh, except uh, uh, IIT Delhi, IIT Kanpur, okay. Uh, so I think uh, these two IIT will not call you for the interview. Uh, but in IIT Bombay case, which give a fantastic opportunity to all the rankers, it will call all the rankers to the written exam. Okay, it will call all the uh, rankers to the written exam. Then after the written exam, out of nearly three thousand uh, rankers. Then it will shortlisted a nearly 100 to 120 student for its interview. And out of this 100 to 120 student, it will select a nearly uh, 20 to 22 student for the final uh, uh, PhD because depending upon the uh, number of vacancy. Okay. So, but in case of IIT Madras, uh, it has two ways of joining. Like uh, you can apply through your uh, GET, uh, NET, or J or JST. But also you can apply through CPI basis, okay. That means if you are a MSc student and you complete your master's with a CPI and like uh, above 9 or 9.2, last time cut was 9.5, okay. So if you have such CPI in your master's, then you can directly apply through CPI basis and you will get call for the interview, okay. Uh, also there is a chance of uh, uh, research like this uh, IDRP, which is known as Interdisciplinary Research Program. So, it is a collaborative type of research going on in IIT matter. So, you can apply here. And for this IDRP, I think higher rankers uh, can be called for the interview also. But it is very interesting. So, one please go through this IDRP, what is it is. And also, I have uh, uploaded a video on this IDRP in my channel. So, if you are interested, then you can visit the video. Uh, then, the thing is like that uh, uh, if your belongs to um, uh, OBC, your belongs to OBC. And also you have a rank below 1000 okay then don't apply so don't apply iit delhi iit kanpur okay and iit Rurki. okay you can apply all the iits like uh, iit bombay iit uh, iit kharagpur also iit kharagpur uh, they also play a very uh, new type of system like uh, they also uh, consider your cgpa cgpa or CPI okay so they will consider career academics marks for the interview so if you uh, have a good rank then uh, go for IIT Kharagpur otherwise don't waste your money uh, also uh, you can apply uh, everywhere like uh, all the new IITs all the new IITs new IITs uh, like IIT uh, Palakkad IIT Dharwad IIT uh, Jodhpur okay so IIT Tirupati so these IIT you can apply, no problem. Okay. Uh, also, uh, like uh, suppose one uh, student have a rank uh, like 2000, 3000. 3, so definitely people apply for IIT Bombay and try to uh, make your written very well so that you will get chance to appear for the interview. Uh, also apply for the new IITs and uh, NITs. Okay. These are the things. Uh, if you, you have a very nice rank uh, like below one for the OBC category student then go for the Iger Barhampur 
ओके आईजर मोहाली आई डोंट नो आईजर मोहाली विल कॉल यू नॉट बट आईजर बहरामपुर में कॉल यू बट अदर आईड इज आईजर विल नॉट कॉल यू ओके इफ अ वेरी फाइन जंग लाइक बिलो 300 फॉर 400 देन दे विल कॉल यू फॉर द इंटरव्यू ओके सो नेक्स्ट इज ड्यूरिंग योर सपोज यू गेट अ कॉल फॉर द इंटरव्यू देन व्हाट आर द फैक्टर्स प्लेज एन इंपोर्टेंट रोल फॉर योर सिलेक्शन इज योर एमएससी प्रोजेक्ट और इंटर्नशिप इंपोर्टेंट सो आई ऑलवेज इंफोसाइज दिस पॉइंट because uh, i know a uh, few of the you don't uh, do any msc project or internship due to various problem like covid 19 or in somewhere in like university there are no mandatory of for doing a project or internship so i consider that point uh, my point is like that if you have project if i am mentioning if this is important if you have project you have project like internship or any msc project then please Prepare well. Prepare well. This is very impressive. Suppose you have did a project and you have enough knowledge what you did exactly, what characterization you uh, perform in that that project in order to get the result. Then prepare it well from the fundamental point of view. If you can answer them their question, then they will definitely take you because this is very impressive. Because you are going to do research and you have certain research background. It may be preliminary background, but you have. so this is very impressive okay if you don't have any msc project or internship so don't worry go through your subject and whatever you are comfortable zones are there so prepare it well and uh, uh, clearly mention then that like uh, that i did not perform any ma project uh, due to this problem so but i prepare my subject very well you can ask any question okay this is clear question no problem uh, but one thing i should mention Uh, in some of the iits they will definitely ask for the project have you any uh, did you uh, perform any project or internship and some iit it will uh, don't ask you so don't bother about that if question is coming from the project point of view if you did then answer them otherwise leave your side don't i don't have any project so uh, i have prepared my subject okay this is no no problem but those people uh, have project or internship please prepare it well okay and don't uh, tell them uh, some uh, fascinating terms and uh, whatever you did not perform otherwise you will be uh, suffer for it so uh, tell them whatever you have did okay this is fine uh, then which topic are mostly asked in psd interview this is very important point which topic which topic is asked in uh, psd interview mostly so it depend upon your field okay suppose you are interested in quantum information you are interested in high energy physics you are interested in high astrophysics or you are interested in condensed matter physics so depending upon the field the panel will be there and they will ask you question but in generally as you are a master student they will expect some basics from you like solid state physics will definitely be asked okay solid state physics will definitely ask then quantum mechanics you can neglect statistical mechanics is very important okay and four is graphs this graph plotting of graph is very important so start practicing how to draw different graphs like sin x by x and uh, different polynomials and its derivative this is very crucial then fifth is mathematical physics and emt okay this is important but i will give emphasis to solid state physics quantum mechanics and statistical mechanics if you are going for the condensed matter uh, field okay so in solid state physics point of view you don't only prepare the books chapters like free electron gas theory van theory this is very important i don't tell you that is not important it is important but addition to that go from some experimental techniques like experimental techniques means i have to mention that uh, you should prepare the measurements like hall measurement this is very important like two probe measurement two probe measurement four probe measurement okay these three are very important okay so such type of experiment is important they will definitely ask you some experiment if you are interested for the experimental condensed matter physics they definitely ask you that what type of experiment did you perform in your lab during a master and suppose you asked a hall measurement they will definitely ask you four to five question uh, from the depth point of view from the hall measurement okay so iit professor will never leave you in simple manner they will be, uh, take you into the deeper concept and you will uh, extract knowledge from your brain so prepare well from uh, this experimental point of view 
these are some basic crucial point and uh, from quantum mechanics statistically you know what to study and what not to study from statistical mechanics as you know Bose Einstein condensation is a very famous question Eisen model is very famous question phase transition is very famous and distribution is there so these four to five topics are very crucial so prepare well and in quantum mechanical point of view hydrogen atom will be very important and uh, 1d potential oil and harmonic oscillator is very important uh, then perturbation burn approximation go for that and solid state physics you know uh, free electron gas theory band theory thermal specific heat lattice vibration crystallography these are very topic uh, hot topic you should prepare it and also with superconductivity okay so this is all about my point to tell you and if you uh, tell me uh, that uh, uh, what are the important books then i would suggest you i already uh, i already mentioned the important books uh, i and i have also uploaded the video in my channel so please go through the uh, channel i have also given the link in my description so you can check uh, then this is point this point is very important time to read book and deep understanding leave note and coaching material this is important so uh, you crack the gate this is enough so now leave your material and notes please go through the book so reading of books is important for now if you are a continuous reader of book then this is fine no one can stop you if you are uh, habituated with the notes and materials only then stop it now and go through the book now so if you see then for solid state physics i should mention you should go for the early omar early omar this is a very fundamental and descriptive book so you can extract the very qualitative knowledge from this book solid state uh, physics then from the statistical mechanics you should go for the rk partheria rk partheria and from the uh, spectroscopy atomic molecular spectroscopy so you should go for the granule granule this is important okay so these are certain books and you can get the clear idea from that video also uh, which i have mentioned every book for the important of uh, papers of physics so thank you so much thank you for watching my video prepare well because uh, all the application for the phd will be uh, there within one to two weeks or the end of this month so uh, interview will be started and once interview started you will get a chance to appear for interview one by one and very within the very quick uh, interval of time so don't have any much time in your hand so prepare well for the interview all the best thank you so much for watching my video thank you